So this is my first time ever taking a southwest flight. I'm supposed to be getting on gate B9. And I guess the way they do it is they have several groups, like right now group A, and then there's also positions, like A group 1 through 30, and then also A group 31 through 60. Now, the one in front of us here is for gate B11, so I'm referring to the one in the back, B9. And you see the, all the people who have A on their ticket are lined up and there's specific numbers. So like see where it says six through 10, that means if your number on your ticket says six through 10, you're supposed to line up kind of in that area. And the reason being is because they do not assign because seats ahead of time. For yeah, they don't assign seats ahead of time. Right, so, one one yeah, so they just called up one through 15. So the first 15 passengers are going to go up and you can see on my ticket here I have uh, group B18 so when they tell the B people to line up I'm going to be going right there where it says 16 through 20. Now this is at the Cleveland Hopkins Airport. I don't know if other airports for Southwest have it lined up differently like if they have markers on the ground or if they all have it set up like this. But yeah I just thought it was interesting and how they do it compared to all the other airlines. And once you board, you're supposed to just kind of like pick a seat, whatever is available, you just uh, go ahead and grab it. So they're finishing up A31 through 60 on that side, and then B1 through 30 is beginning to line up over here. Well, so they called B1 through 30. She also said spread out, grab your own rows, so I'm wondering Maybe the plane's not super crowded today. saying they had to balance the plane so you couldn't all sit near the front so that's why I went to the back of the plane. We'll see how full it gets. Complete, please, I, they said again. boarding complete so based on this I mean it's possible we may get one person sitting next next to me like on the end but I don't think we're gonna have a full row. You can see right now it's empty that's kind of why I sat back here hoping maybe I can get a row to myself. So that is indeed it for boarding. So hopefully if anyone hasn't flown Southwest before, it gives you a little bit of a glimpse of what to expect. Now granted, you can't always expect to get your own row. I'm sure a lot of these flights are fully packed, but if you enjoyed this video from Cleveland, Ohio, Southwest boarding process, feel free to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you next time.